In this video we're going to uh, install a bring your own Oracle installation on a Linux uh, server that will become our IT analytics foundation portal. So I have navigated in on my Linux server into a location where I've got the relevant files that we'll need for this uh, bring your own Oracle installation. Uh, we've got our wrapper We've got the, the binary that you can obtain from Oracle, and you need to accept their license agreement to use that. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and set up a location where we can mount the ISO for the, uh, the DB installer. So I'm going to go ahead and make a directory in slash MNT, and I'm going to call it disk D. And then we're going to go ahead and mount uh, minus o loop our ISO. We're going to mount that to slash mnt slash disk d. And that's a normal message. One thing that uh, has already occurred on this server is I have uh, manually created uh, the aptar and the tomcat users in this particular server environment uh, we don't allow home directories in the normal kind of linux default of slash home so i've taken manual steps to go ahead and create those alternate home directories for those two users created the user groups as specified in the install guide and created those two users um, other than that if you have permissions to um, add users and to go ahead and create normal home groups in slash home, you, you would be fine with uh, not needing to do that extra effort. Okay, so once we've got the, um, the routine mounted, we'll go ahead and cd to the root, and then we're going to go ahead and we can look, we can do a listing of what's on that, that um, ISO. We can see that there's an install Oracle shell script. That's what we're going to go ahead and invoke. So we'll just slash mnt slash disk d install Oracle. Need to go through the license agreement. Space is a rapid way to move through these pages, page at a time. Accept the agreement. You can see, as I mentioned, that uh, we had I had manually created the uh, group and the users. Now the um, the Oracle wrapper that we're using here is prompting us for the absolute directory path where that universal installer file is located. So it is in aptar underscore in. So this wrapper will go ahead and, and place these binaries, the, the starting binaries from Oracle as provided in that zip file. Those are going to be put into a default location of slash opt slash aptar slash Oracle. That installation doesn't take uh, very long. It's really just laying down the uh, base binaries for us. It happens quite quickly.